Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here with Dropping with Bruce. How's everyone doing out there today? <clears throat> Welcome to Thursday, January the uh, 17th, 2019. I'm not even ready for Christmas yet. I'm kind of ready for the 23rd of December, just about there, um, just a little behind here. Uh, but, you know, we're getting it done. How is everyone doing out there? Cheers to one and all from Traveling with Bruce. Here's one of my favorite coffee mugs. How are you guys doing out there? Got my caffeine-free Diet Coke in here. Oh, yeah, baby, that'll keep me going. Um, hope you're having a good day out there. Um, busy here. Just, uh, just a few minutes ago, I put a video up, uh, just launched a video about 20 minutes ago. Uh, seven tips uh, for uh, what to do before you go on a cruise, uh, trying to help more and more people uh, make the right decisions uh, with regard to, uh, you know, figuring out where they're going to go, how they're going to go, uh, what they should need to know before they go on a cruise, stuff like that. Um, question for my viewers today, uh, now that you're you're coming in, that's a little bit sure. Um, my question is, uh, you know, when you're going on a cruise, uh, um, you know, you're, depending on how long you're gone for and, and that type of thing, uh, there's certain things you need to take. Um, and a lot of people, you know, they talk about, there's a lot of cruisers out there, a lot of, a lot of videos, uh, uh, YouTubers who do videos about cruising, and they'll tell you about, uh, you know, what to pack and stuff. And I want to ask uh, my, uh, my viewers out there, uh, since we love talking about cruise ships and cruise ship holidays, uh, tell me the one gadget that uh, is off the beaten path that you think people should take with them on a cruise and why uh rather than just uh the old usual uh, don't forget your camera and uh, don't forget your passport uh, that, we all know that but what what particular gadget uh should uh someone consider taking with them on a cruise that they might not even think about it's right kind of out of left field uh, i always love uh, tips like that and i know some of you out there have some pretty good suggestions uh over past uh, months or so and i figure for the folks who are joining us uh, for the first time the second time the fifth time or brand new to this channel uh, we'll give them some extra tips today. I um, want to say hi to uh, all of my subscribers, of course, and all of my viewers, of course. Uh, I want to especially uh, say hello to the new subscribers. Uh, since I was on the air yesterday, uh, we added 42 new subscribers. I was uh, sitting at 9,280 yesterday, 9,280. Right now, 9,322 subscribers. Fantastic. Welcome, uh, new subscribers. If any of you out there are new and never been here before, please say hi to me. Uh, tell me where are you watching me from. Uh, if you're from the U.S., just tell me the name of the town or city you're from, what's your high temperature, and what's the price of gas in your neighborhood. And uh, uh, if you're from uh, from uh, overseas, uh, well, what country are you from? What, what city in, are you from from overseas? Let us know, and we'll say hi to you and welcome you to the channel and to the chat. This is fantastic. Love getting uh, people saying hi to me. Uh, any of you out there, if you're getting commercials uh, watching this live show, uh, whether you're watching me live right now or you're watching this show on a rerun, uh, if you got an ad before this uh, show came on, let me know in the comments below or, or if you're live, let me know in the comments right here. What commercial did you get today? Who is advertising on Traveling with Bruce to get to your eyeballs? I'm kind of curious to know. I get all kinds of comments now from people all over the place saying, oh, I saw this company. I saw this ad. I saw this ad. I love it. Thank you for letting me know. It helps me figure out what my demographics are. And uh, we'll work on sponsorship deals going down the road. And I can say to potential sponsors, well, let me tell you who's already advertising on this channel, according to my viewers. And then there you go. I have a... I have a legitimate in to talk to them about who is advertising on my channel and uh, why they should pay me ten thousand dollars a day to advertise on my show. Don't you think that's reasonable? I mean, you know, ten grand a day. Huh? Sure. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I I'm open for business. Uh, anyway, there you go. If there's anyone out there who's with a large company uh, or any company that wants to do advertising or sponsorship, by all means, look me up. I would be more than happy to have a, a corporate logo uh, somewhere around here to promote any uh, any product that I uh, you know that I like. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, but if it's a product I don't like, I, I probably won't promote it. But you know, I have my standards, you know. But uh, hey, uh, <laughs> my friends at Coca Cola, you know, I could have a permanent Coca Cola sign right right here all the time, you know, sponsored by. Just give me a shout. I will make a deal. I uh, love drinking this stuff. Maybe we can work a product. Uh, you know, maybe you could send me some of this stuff and work a money deal. And you know, I'm open. I'm I'm a very negotiable guy. I'm very easy to get along with. Uh, at least my viewers tell me I'm okay. Uh, let's we'll see what happens. 
Although I have some viewers who tell me I'm not very okay. So, you know, it goes both ways. What can I say? All right. So 9,322 subscribers. Fantastic. I'm so glad that uh, we're approaching 10,000 subs. This is good stuff. Um, thank you all, all of you out there who've been kind enough to go to Amazon uh, through my affiliate link and pick something up there. Thank you for all of you folks who are going to Redbubble and picking up a Traveling with Bruce item, whether it's a shirt or a coffee mug or a travel mug or a tote bag or a wall clock or, or whatever. I just love it. I have men's tops, women's tops, hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, short sleeve shirts, long sleeve uh, tops. We got all kinds of stuff. Anyway, if you get a chance to go to the Redbubble store, which is linkable, you can link that through my description down below. Same with the Amazon. Thank you very much. And, of course, out there, some of you out there from time to time uh, have been kind enough and generous enough to uh, send me a donation through my PayPal donate button. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, I do have uh, occasionally people will send me a super chat on my live shows. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, but I have to tell you the difference between a super chat and a PayPal donation is night and day. Uh, if I get a, a, a contribution here on Super Chat, it's great. Love it. It's a, I get 70% of whatever you donate there. That's 30% goes to the uh, YouTube people to handle the, the entire transaction and a little profit for them. But if you send me a uh, PayPal donation, oh my, 96% of the proceeds comes to me. Uh, only 4% is, uh, is used up by the, uh, the PayPal people to convert and transfer dollars and all that stuff. It's fantastic. And, uh, the uh, funds are available immediately, uh, within five minutes, uh, the funds are available to be used for whatever I need to buy. Whereas with a super chat, I sometimes have to wait up to six weeks, <laughs> depending on when it comes in during the month and when the payouts come through, uh, during the month with YouTube. But Either way, I appreciate one and all. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, enough of that. Uh, let's talk about the news of the day. I've got a couple of things to talk to you about. Uh, in the meantime, I will remind you of a couple of things. Number one, uh, don't forget, I have a, a uh, Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce, spelled with two L's. Please come by and say hi. I want to say thank you to John Smith. It sounds like a fake name, but there is John Smith actually posted yesterday on my Facebook group page, Traveling with Bruce, he posted photos of a ship I was on as a seven-year-old young guy. Uh, it was an ocean liner that I took from uh, Germany across the Atlantic to Canada in 1962. It was called the Homeric, H-O-M-E-R-I-C, the Homeric from Home Lines. And he posted five or six photos on the group page last night of the homeric i could not believe it uh he even had a couple of photos from 1962 uh wow so i got to see a couple of photos and a few of them were in color no less of the actual vessel that i crossed the atlantic ocean in from germany back to canada in 1962 i cannot thank him enough for that if anyone out there has a photo or more one or two or three of the the Homeric Ocean Liner from Home Lines, uh, anytime it sailed in the 50s and the 60s and 70s, uh, if you could kindly post any of those photos onto uh, our Facebook group page the, for Traveling with Bruce, that would be fantastic. I would love to see some of these uh, different photos. There are photos, a lot of them that were made by the ship's photographer. This is the way it used to be in those days. Uh, the ship photographer would walk around in the restaurant at dinner time and we would be in our finery and uh, that's when mom would say yes take a photo of the family because the kids are all cleaned up and dad's looking pretty good with a suit and tie on I want a shot of this family it's the only time we look good because the rest of the time we're schleps and so a lot of families had family photos taken at the dinner table on these cruise liners these ocean liners back in the 40s the 50s the 60s and so on um, but any other photos, any kind of photos from the homework, I would love it. Uh, if anyone has home movies, oh my gosh, that would be even more unbelievable. If anyone has any home movies from the homework, uh, I would love to see some of those. Whether you were just on shore watching the ship come in or go out, or whether you were on the ship itself, or your grandfather took a, some movie, or your, your dad, whatever, I would love to see anything like that. That would be great. So again, that's that's a, a shout out to uh, to John Smith for that. Thank you very much. Also, a shout out to any of you out there who are kind enough to share a video that I post on, 
on my channel. Uh, if you're posting it on uh, YouTube or any other social media, that is fantastic. If any of you can post it onto uh, Instagram or to uh, Reddit or to uh, to uh, to Twitter, uh, that that gives my channel exposure I can't get because, of course, uh, I only have my social media contacts. And you've got yours out there, uh, and that would be a great way to spread the word about traveling with Bruce. Thank you for, for all of you for doing that. All right, news of the day. Let me get to that here. A couple of pieces of news of the day. Uh, uh, it's all over the news today. It's all over the internet that we talked about this two or three days ago. Uh, so Tweedy was the first person to alert all of us who were here on our live show back earlier in the week. We got a an alert about. Uh, uh, of, uh, at that time, it was, a, it was a young guy who jumped off a cruise ship as a stunt. We now know that a young man from apparently Vancouver, Washington, uh, was the initial report. Some reports are saying that he's from Vancouver, Canada. We we don't know for certainty yet, but we're finding out. I have Ash Marie just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Ash Marie. I just saw your name pop in. I hope you're on the live show. Say hi to me if you're here. Say, say hi to me. Uh, Vancouver, Washington man uh, jumped off the Symphony of the Seas cruise ship while it was in port in uh, Nassau uh, in the Bahamas. Um, he jumped into the water, he survived, and he uh, uh, was egged on by a bunch of his pals, uh, one of which was videotaping him, you know, filming him on his iPhone, I suppose. And... Uh, uh, they thought they could uh, have him do this, uh, jump in the water. They would post this video to the social media world, and he would become famous. Well, uh, he uh, got off the, uh, he got out of the water onto the pier, and uh, security from the ship um, uh, basically uh, had him um, kicked off the ship. He, he, and all of his buddies uh, got packed up, uh, got kicked off, and were left in the Bahamas uh, to, c to get home themselves from there. And they have been permanently banned from any Royal Caribbean cruise for life. Uh, Royal Caribbean is not interested in this kind of nonsense. Uh, they have enough issues, along with other cruise lines, where people uh, jump off cruise ships at sea or, uh, or uh, you know, like the other day, we had a young guy fall off another Royal Caribbean cruise ship. He fell off. He didn't jump off. He fell uh, trying to go from one balcony to another outside the uh, outside the railing, and he landed on the pier, which is solid concrete, and he was DOA. Uh, he was done for. Um, they call him a boy because he was 16. They call this guy who's 22 a man. I think this is a man child. Uh, what a moron for pulling this off and posting it just to give all kinds of people an idea. Uh, it is not a good idea. He was lucky. He wasn't seriously hurt. He has admitted now, uh, it's been a week since, and he admitted that for three or four days after, he was in pain and in a number of areas, including his tailbone um, and a few other spots on his body from the impact of falling into water uh, from 110, 120 feet above the, uh, above the surface. That, that is jumping off a 10, 12 story building into water. That can be deadly uh, and extremely painful. And he was lucky he didn't do a face plant. He was lucky he didn't land flat on his back. He was uh, very fortunate. He, he could have been really critically injured just landing in the water. Uh, if you think water is soft, Think again, <laughs> if any of you have ever dived off a 10 or 20 foot uh, diving platform, you know uh, that just, just off 10 or 20 feet, it's uh, not fun sometimes, but off of a 110 foot uh, uh, distance like that, ridiculous. Anyway, he's uh, he's sorry, he says, he's uh, he regrets his decision, uh, but uh, the damage has been done. Uh, the video has been uh, posted on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, I won't post a video like that. It just I just don't want to encourage this nonsense. Uh, it is a deadly practice, um, and uh, uh, it just shouldn't be encouraged. And uh, I, I commend Royal Caribbean for taking a hard line. They are actually looking at legal action to see if they can sue him. They're actually thinking of legal, maybe for uh, damaging the brand. Uh, you know, it's a multi-billion dollar company. They have lawyers like crazy. Uh, they could make life miserable for this guy where he just defends himself in court for the next five years. Spend have to spend a quarter million dollars to uh, defend himself because they will bankrupt this guy. Uh, I do not recommend jumping off a cruise ship. <laughs> you do not want to make these cruise lines angry. And what good does it do you? I don't. I don't see the upside at all. He has no future 
on social media. I'm surprised. Uh, I doubt his video is on YouTube. The only way him jumping off the ship is on YouTube is if someone else is posting it, not himself. He's not making money himself on YouTube from doing this because YouTube will will bar him. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Royal Caribbean will write a letter to YouTube to say we're suing this guy. And anyone that's promoting this guy, we're going to sue. And everyone will just cut him off. Uh, so, again, there's just no upside. None. Um, another piece of news uh, I read about Disney today. Disney and the port of Galveston. Uh, Galveston is on a bit of a roll right now, a positive roll uh, after a year of just lousy news. Um, the port of Galveston and Disney have signed a 10-year deal for uh, Disney ships to home port out of Galveston. Uh, with two five-year extensions added on for good measure. So it could be up to a 20-year arrangement. Galveston is desperate to bring cruise ships in and keep them. Disney is uh, very happy with the uh, traffic that they get to their cruise ship in Galveston from the Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, El Paso area, even New Orleans, folks driving in, flying in, and grabbing ships, um, grabbing cruises. So a uh, new new terminal uh, a terminal deal has been announced that Disney will co-use, and uh, I know that a few weeks ago, one of the other cruise lines signed a deal to build a new terminal in Galveston. So Galveston is expanding, looking to continue to expand and grab a uh, home port business. Way to go, Galveston! Um, what else is going on in the news today? Oh, uh, one more thing, uh, one more feature, and that's uh, uh, in Canada. Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. If you've never been there, it's a beautiful place. I have to admit, I've never been to Charlottetown myself. Uh, Charlottetown um, is a, a very popular uh, place to go. The, the island of Prince Edward Island is now connected by a land bridge uh, from, I believe, Nova Scotia over, um, or is it New Brunswick? One of the two. Um, the, the port of Ch Charlottetown has been aggressively uh, seeking more cruise business. They've seen the light. Uh, they realize, wow, a uh, cruise ship with 3,000 people comes into port. These folks come streaming out. Uh, they go to see the Anne of e Green Gables, the Anne of Green Gables sites that we have and the beautiful scenery we have on the island. They'll take an island tour for the day. They get photographs like there's no tomorrow because Prince Edward Island is gorgeous. Uh, and then they, at the end of their six, eight hours, they spend a bunch of money and then they, they leave. This is great. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, we, they don't vote. Uh, they, we just leave a bunch of money behind and uh, they don't pollute all that much. It's pretty good. Uh, they want more business. Uh, they're expecting for 2019, uh, 146,000 passengers. Now, in the cruise business, as if you watched me regularly, you, you know, um, a place like the uh, the Cayman Islands, they'll bring in 1.7 million a year. They're going for two million a year with their expansion plans. Uh, Cozumel over two million passengers a year. So I mean, 146,000 is a drop in the bucket. But to go to Charlottetown in the summertime or in one of those uh, one of those fall uh, cruises, those New England cruises in the fall, boy, you want to go to Charlottetown. You want to be in Prince Edward Island. You want to see some colors. You want to see some maple trees with some gorgeous colors. Yeah, pretty darn nice. Historical place, uh, birthplace of uh, Confederation for Canada, how Canada was formed through a bunch of uh, political moves. It was all done in Charlottetown, uh, among other places. But uh, anyway, news from Charlottetown. Good news and way to go, Charlotte Charlottetownians, Prince Edward Islanders. Way to go, you guys. Uh, build the business. There's only 35,000 people living in the entire province of Prince Edward Island, which is this tiny island. Uh, way to go, PEI. Uh, bring in the bucks and uh, paying your bills nicely. Though there you go. That's my news of the day for the uh, cruise line business. Uh, some of the some of the stories that I saw published today. Um, if any of you have any thoughts or comments, let me know. But one more time, I'm going to ask all of you out there. Tell me, uh, what gadget should uh, passengers bring on board a cruise ship for their cabins? you wouldn't normally think about uh, you know we all know about a camera we all know about uh, bringing your passport and we all know you got to bring your underwear you, you know you got to bring your socks uh, you got to bring shoes but what unique items should cruisers bring on a cruise ship to make cruising that much easier or just it's that gadget that it just is a perfect idea that someone wouldn't normally think about uh, please let me know i'd love to uh, find out what your thoughts are on that and let's say hi to who is here in the uh, sh on the show. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're new, again, if you're brand new to this channel, you've never been here before, please tell me 
you're a newbie. It's my first time here. Tell me, where are you watching me from? Uh, where are you in the world? What uh, city are you in town? Uh, what's your high temperature today? What's the price of gas in your neighborhood? And uh, if you got an ad before this sh show started, or if you've seen a number of my videos lately, and you've been watching, you've seen a few ads, let me know who is it that's advertising on this show? Who wants to get to the eyeballs of the TWB family? I kind of, kind of curious to find that out. All right, let me pull the, the camera in a little bit, and let's find out who's here. Sebastian Shore, he was here first. Brittany Lockwood second. Dwayne said I was third. Tom Henry said I'm number four. Uh, uh, who else was after that? Debbie Manuel. Hi, Bruce and everybody. Storming here in Butte County today. Flood advisory and blizzard advisory in the Sierras. I've never seen that before. Uh, Debbie is saying she's in Northern California. She's very close. She's in Chico, California, very close to Paradise, California, where they had those deadly fires uh, with tons of damage. And uh, Debbie, uh, her her home was spared, and uh, she's fine. But uh, she's got wacky weather lately in the uh, high Sierras in that area. And uh, on the one hand, it's great that California is getting rain, but uh, blizzards aren't really what you want. But uh, uh, if the snowpack can be built up on the top of the Sierras all winter long, that will be good for next year for California's water needs. And uh, boy, uh, the more the better. And and get uh, get those forests green, not bone dry. Uh, Dwayne, uh, Victoria, BC, light rain plus 11 Celsius. Gas is 129.9 a liter. So he's around 43, 44 degrees Fahrenheit here in Creston, where I am. It's snowing lightly. So lightly, it's just a fine mist coming down. Uh, we're about 32, 33 degrees. Should be about 38, 39 or more. All this that's melting and all that's coming down. There isn't much accumulating. It'll be all gone by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, gas, 129 a liter, 130, 130 a liter Canadian. It's expensive gasoline. It's uh, it's close to four bucks American or so. Paul Wilgus, hello everybody. It's 34 and light snow here in Virginia. Um, he's saying hi to everybody. Uh, uh, Teresa Jordan, happy Thursday. Warm today, 69 in Conroe, Texas. Teresa, 69. That's pretty good temperature in Texas. There, 185 a gallon for regular gas. A little higher than it was about a week or two ago, but still 185 is a good price for gasoline. I wish we could see low prices like that in Canada. We just can't get that low up here, even though we're sitting on billions of barrels of oil. The government makes sure we don't get cheap prices like that. Um, who else is here? Uh, Debbie Manuel is asking if uh, if Tom is feeling better. Uh, Tom, I hope your thumb is getting better. I'm curious about that. Um, uh, who else is uh, going on here? Uh, uh, Sorry, folks, I'm just double-checking a message or two or three. Uh, here we go. Ted B., hey, Bruce, winter storm. Harper could mess things up on the East Coast, north of New York City. Ted B., welcome back to my show. Steve Stair is here. Hello, Bruce. Hi, everybody. Hey, Steve, how are you? Welcome back. Paul Wilgus, Tom Henry, it, it, uh, it, it's getting better and better. You need to, what is it? You will need to uh, need it on the excursion. We can't talk about laugh out loud. <laughs> Secrets being shared between Paul Wilgus and Tom Henry for this cruise coming up that they're going on. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what's what this is all about. Tom Henry saying hi, Ted and Steve. Sylvan Forrest, hi, Bruce and all. 74 Fahrenheit in Delray Beach, Florida. Sunny and breezy. Having our cigar and a rum and coke here. Very enjoyable. Thumbs ups, everybody, for Bruce. American Cruise Line ad is running here. Not happening. I'm not going on that cruise line, but they are advertising on your channel, Bruce. Good to know. We have 28 thumbs ups already on this telecast. Thank you, everybody, who is sparing me a thumbs up. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh, whether you're giving me thumbs ups on this show and or any video I've ever made, including reruns of this show, those of you out there who are watching me on a rerun, if you could please give me a thumbs up while you're watching this show, that would really add to the momentum of my channel the uh, analytics computers at YouTube measure performance of a channel with regard to comments, thumbs ups, thumbs downs too, doesn't matter, uh, it's just engagement, uh, but comments and thumbs ups uh, really count. I would appreciate that. And of course, any of you who share my videos with friends on Facebook, that adds unbelievable street cred to this channel with the YouTube analytics computers. Thank you one and all for that. Steve Bartley is saying, uh, I saw Cabela's ad. Uh, Steve Stair, hello, Tom. Vivian, uh, evening all, very cold, sleet and light snow today in the UK. She's in England. Welcome, Vivian. Tom Henry, uh, Bruce, just forget about Christmas and don't let's, let it stress you out. I, I'm ready for Christmas maybe tomorrow. <laughs> 
Uh, it's all over. I let Jennifer handle all that stuff. Uh, I wasn't ready for Christmas this year. Still not ready for Christmas, but I might be ready by tomorrow. I'll get over it. Maybe through the weekend, I'll get through Boxing Day and we'll be fine. Uh, by the way, today, January the 17th, 2019, I had 275 subscribers today, a year ago. And a year ago today, YouTube dropped the hammer on all small YouTubers where they told us, if you don't have a thousand subscribers and at least four thousand watch hours of viewing by by a month from now by feb 17 you will not be monetized or monetize a bowl until you reach those goals and i needed 725 subscribers in 30 days to maintain my monetization that i just gotten a few months earlier and what a month it was uh, with a lot of my viewers uh, coming through big time. A lot of people were just watching me casually, and I was begging them to please become a subscriber to help me stay monetized. And they responded within a week. I had hit 500 subscribers. Within two weeks, I was over 650. By uh, With a week to go, I was at 800 plus. And on the last two days, I went from 890 subscribers to 1,040 and uh broke the barrier unbelievable run for that time so january 17th is uh, a memorable day february 17th is another one and we'll talk about that a month from now all right let's continue on with who's here um let's see here uh, vivian uh, tom henry's asking vivian in the uk is there any good news there today vivian no tom none still arguing up here donna adams hey glad to see you donna adams how are you welcome to my channel and show steve stair uh, suitcase scale. There's an idea. Uh, Tammy uh, Williams, a power strip and magnetic hooks. I'm asking you folks, what quirky things should you bring on a cruise? Gadgets should you bring on a cruise that you wouldn't normally think about? Right here, a power strip and magnetic hooks. Exactly. Inside of the door is a magnet. Your bathroom door is, is steel. There's, your door is steel. Your bathroom door is steel. Your walls are made of steel. Uh, magnets uh, for hooks. Good, good plan. John O'Hara, cell phone. Tom Henry, they must have learned that from this side of the pond. We have a good feud going on here. Yes, uh, we're arguing on this side of the Atlantic. They're arguing on that side of the Atlantic. No one's getting anything done. Margie Chadwick. Hey, everybody. I saw Royal Caribbean commercial before. Bruce, swim shoes. Swim shoes. Yes, those uh, those rubberized type swim shoes. That's a good idea. That's a good one, Margie. Tom Henry, underwear. Uh, Tom Henry, swimsuit. Donna Adams, pop up laundry basket. Pop up laundry basket. There's an idea. Um, Brittany Lockwood, one gadget I would suggest bringing along on any kind of a trip is a flashlight. Yes, have it right by your bed. So in the evening, you can get up and see where you're footing and uh, leave your, your people in the cabin. Let them sleep while you go to the bathroom and do your business. Good idea. Uh, not a bad idea there. Tom Henry, I actually did forget um, UW uh, on a trip to PA a couple of years ago. Uh, Blue Collar Cruiser is here. What's good, Bruce? Hey there, uh, Blue Collar Cruiser. Tammy Williams, Maricopa, Arizona. Welcome from Maricopa, AZ. This is fantastic, Tammy. Paul Wilkes laughing out loud. Carla Miller. Hi, Bruce. Bring cold medicine. Interesting. I would say bring your entire uh, collection of uh, Band-Aids, ointments for cuts, um, um, disinfectant type of stuff, um, uh, aura gel if you have so, you know sensitive teeth. Uh, gums, anything like that. Uh, bring along your lip balm, uh, everything from the bathroom. I mean, everything, all the little stuff, because if you have to go downstairs to the medical room, oh God, uh, you're in a world of pain when it comes to the amount of money you're going to pay those guys. You don't want to go down there if at all possible. Bring your own little pharmacy, pharmacy from home and put it all in your carry-on bag. And that way you have access to it the minute you get onto your cruise. Um, uh, sunburn, uh, sunburn lotion in case you burn. Make sure you bring your sunscreen, of course. Uh, but let's listen for gadgets. Vivian is saying hi, Tom. I'm laughing out loud. Uh, Paul Wilgus, cold allergy meds. Tom Henry forgot a swimsuit on my second cruise. Tom, thank God you can probably buy one on the cruise ship, though. Uh, Heather Parsons, hi, Bruce. The ad was Airbnb today. Yesterday it was Air Transat. Isn't that interesting? Thank you for telling me that, Heather Parsons. I'd like to know who's advertising on my show. Tom Henry, luckily the ship had one in my size to sell me. Cool jazz, Tom. Uh, hello, Tom Henry, Paul Lucas. How's my crew doing? Uh, Ted B, power bar splitter, turns the single outlet in a room to several outlets. Also, an extra Timmy's card. Instead of your room card to turn on the lights, use the Timmy's card. It also works for the safe. I didn't even know that. That's interesting. Carla Miller, I saw a Kenneth Cole commercial, Bruce. Kenneth Cole, that's a nice uh, clothing outfit. That's interesting. Paul Wilgus, uh, hey, cool. 
John O'Hara, last minute best cruise, uh, best price cruise. What's the best place to buy? Uh, John O'Hara, I love using a website called vacationstogo.com, which, by the way, should be sponsoring this show every day. Uh, they should be sponsoring me so I can have a Vacations to Go logo up here somewhere all the time for these guys. Uh, that's where I'd go, John, for good deals. Uh, I'd, I'd, look, I'd look at their pricing to get a handle on their deals. Then I'd follow up. If you see a deal on a Norwegian cruise or a North a Royal Caribbean cruise or a Carnival cruise, whatever, <coughs> I would then call – I then call the cruise line, check their website, call the cruise line to see if they can do any better than the price you're finding. Sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. Uh, that's why Vacations to Go is my starting place. Uh, Lisa Taylor of events is, I just saw a, a cheap on air ad. Very interesting. Thank you, uh, Tom Henry. Welcome, Lisa, by the way. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, hi, Cool Jazz. Happy Thursday, Cool Jazz. My ad was American Cruise, Donna Adams, wet suit bag for Pot. Port days, wet suit bag for port days. Those are the, I would use one of those mesh type alumina, not alumina, um, nylon mesh bags uh, to carry your stuff in towels, bathing suits. Because when you come back and it's all wet, it's it's already getting air dried because it's not a closed in bag. It's a mesh bag. Let's the air flow through. I think that's a good idea. Um, some sort of mini fan, says Lisa as well. A mini fan might be an idea. Cool Jazz might have to borrow that, Val, this weekend. Uh, Sylvan Forest, pack, pack 12 large bulldog clips. So you can transform ordinary hangers in your cabin's closet into pant hangers. I never have enough pant and short hangers, he says. Alan Carter, high today in Calgary, uh, minus 14 Celsius. Uh, yuck. Um, uh, 86.9 for gas for li per liter, and I saw Talus ad today. Uh, thank you for that info, Alan. Always good to get that from you. Welcome back to the show. Ed Tolson is here from New York. Hello, Bruce and all. We'll be listening while walking the dog. Right on, Ed. How you doing, buddy? Welcome from the Big Apple. Uh, just uh, saying cheers to you here. Um, Peter Heckema. Hi, Bruce and all. 474 and sunny today in Orlando. Heading home tomorrow. Right on, Peter. Been enjoying your photos on our um, on the uh, Traveling with Bruce group page. Thank you for posting those. Mark Van Ram, uh, did you see the story about the guy who jumped off the road? Uh, yeah, I just mentioned that. Uh, Margie, uh, look at all those likes. Uh, how many we got? 37. Thank you, people. Keep them coming. This is fantastic. Tom Henry laughing out those silver force. I always have too many hangers, and they clang in the closet with a little shift movement, but then I don't have uh, hang shorts. They just go in the drawer, my shorts. <laughs> Lisa is saying, Lisa Taylor, mini cubes for organizing clothing, especially since there were four adults in one cabin, uh, uh, Royal Caribbean inside cabin on Oasis. So, yes, mini cubes, that is a great item. I offer uh, the mini cubes for sale. You can get them through my Amazon link. I have a link down below in the description for my Amazon, for Amazon and also my Amazon store. I have a Traveling with Bruce Amazon store. If you check out that when you click on, click on that link there, you'll see a bunch of products that I offer that I recommend through Amazon that might be a good idea to take with you, including these clips and including um, these cubes, these packing cubes. They're fantastic. Uh, check them out. Um, what else are we talking about here? Uh, excuse me. Um, Tom Henry, sounds like you're saying home record. Hmm. Uh, Rob Souter, sorry, Bruce. I buy all my clothes from Omar. Okay, uh, cool jazz. Hi, uh, hi, Tom. Uh, laughing out loud. Steamer. Hey, Big B. How you doing, Steaming B? Paul Lucas laughing out loud. Lisa Taylor. We bought extra hangers uh, at the uh, what is it? The um, uh, at is, w w did you say maybe you're meaning the, the the dollar store? I'm not exactly sure. And left behind water ponchos are lifesavers. Uh, Paul Lucas laughing out loud. Rob Cool Jazz. Tom Henry. I was thinking of Homer Simpson. The steamer minus forty again in Sandy Bay, Saskatchewan. That's minus forty Celsius or Fahrenheit. It's the same temperature no matter what scale you're using, and that is cold. Tom Henry laughing out loud. Debbie Manuel. Cheap plastic over the door shoe hanger to store items all in one place. Camera, binoculars, sunblock, and mini first aid kit for just in case moments. And power converter with extra USB charging ports. Good one. I also offer that product as a link inside my Amazon uh, store page, Traveling with Bruce store page. You can find them there. They're cheap. They're under 20 bucks, and they're incredibly useful. They are uh, uh, allowed to be used on cruise ships. Sherry Awesome Sunsets. Hi, Bruce. Sherry. Hello, everybody. Tom Henry. Nice temp. The steaming bean. 
Same on Celsius and Fahrenheit to a Demi Manual High Sherry Steamer. I, uh, I'm i almost intrigued seeing the ships of the 70s and 80s. Looks more like you're at sea back then. Paul Lucas, the steaming being too dang cold for 40 below. He's saying you're right. He's from Vancouver, Washington. Saw his Facebook page. Steamer saying about the jumper. Uh, Brittany at 65 here in Louisiana. Elisa, 38 in Belle Isle, Belle Isle I, uh, Illinois, close to St. Louis. But we're having a blizzard this weekend, and we're going to have freezing temperatures. Not good. Stay indoors, Lisa. Stay warm. Debbie Manuel, how can you uh, get back onto the cruise ship when they have no record of you ever leaving in the first place? Idiots. I think he had a wristband on. Uh, I think I saw him jump off with a wristband. That might have been a saving grace. I don't know. But, uh, of course, he's just pointing up at the room where his buddies are waving, going, yeah, that was me. I don't know, Debbie. It's insane. Paul Wilkes, true, Debbie. Cool Jazz. Hope they had passport steamer. Uh, Royal Caribbean. I'm sure shares uh, such info with other cruise lines. I hope they do. I really do. I, I hope that Royal Caribbean sends this guy's name and address with everyone else to all the cruise lines, saying you don't want these guys on your cruise ship. You're just inviting trouble. The last thing you need is one of these guys attempting to do it again. And hitting the lifeboat on the way down. And now he's going to try and sue us for injuring himself by trying to go viral on the internet. I uh, just don't need this crap. Uh, totally don't need it. Anyway, there you have it. Um, let's see. Marjorie, Brittany, uh, where are you? I am freezing and it's raining here in Alabama. She's down in Louisiana. Rob Sutter, Paul Lucas, where where you be today? Uh, Paul, the police did nothing. They should have at least given him a hefty fine for making an example out of him. I don't know if they were allowed to, Paul. I really don't know. Tom Henry, I, I, High uh, is how high is the Acapulco diving cliff? How high is that? I really don't know. Anyone know? Steamer Royal Caribbean should sue him. Tom Henry, any news on the safety in Acapulco and, and Mazatlan? Tom Henry, Mazatlan is safe the last time I was there, which was about two years ago. Enjoyed it very much. Uh, walked around, no problem whatsoever. Mazatlan has gone just chill, no problem. Um, Acapulco, I cannot speak to Acapulco uh, for regards to safety. I would uh, avoid walking around uh, casually there. I would only get off the ship if I were on a tour with security, but that's just me as an old man talking. I, I don't know anything else. Cool Jazz Rob, I think you have the wrong fall. A steamer, the only brand that cannot be damaged is caffeine-free Diet Coke. You can't damage that, right? This is good stuff. Uh, I just wish I could pay to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to cause any fuss. I just, again, I'm just trying to survive. Cheers, everybody. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. I love the stuff. Uh, what else is going on here? Um, uh, Tom Henry, Rob Sutter. This fall stays in his toasty home in Virginia. Paul, look at Rob Sutter. I'm at home. I, th I think you're thinking of Paul Wilson. <coughs> I think you're thinking about Paul Wilson, who's the guy in the truck driving all over the place. Uh, Dwayne, the jumping idiot, is on global, global news video. They shouldn't be promoting this guy. Cool Jazz, YouTube is now cracking down on unsafe videos. Creators have a month to clean up their accounts. That's a good plan. I like it. Uh, Glenn Edinburgh. Hi, Bruce and everyone. $1.39 Australian per liter for fuel in Brisbane, Australia. That's got to be about a buck American. So that's three seventy dollars American a gallon for gas in Australia. Brisbane, thank you, Glenn, for sharing that. Brittany Lockwood, this is so cool to hear. Disney has a contract in Galveston. Yes, Brittany, they are going to be there for the next 10, maybe 20 years. They are looking at a future there. The steamer is saying, being a middle-aged bachelor surrounded by grade fives all day, you think I want to sail on Disney? Are you kidding me? He doesn't want anything to do with it. Margie, Chadwick, hey, Glenn, Brittany, uh, let's all give Bruce a thumbs up. How many have I got? 41 thumbs up. Thank you so much. Let's keep it going. Um, cool jazz. Uh, Paul, we're going to say cool jazz. I saw that. I think it's great that they're not going to be allowed stupid, dangerous vids. Rob Sauter, Paul Wilgus, sorry. Uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, laughing out loud. Uh, Mark Van Ram, Bruce, I just sent you a request to join your Facebook page. Fantastic, Mark. As soon as you get off the air, I will definitely get you approved onto that. Um, Paul Wilkins saying no problem at all, Rob, no worries. A steamer, PEI's Confederation Bridge, connects itself to New Brunswick, not Nova Scotia. Thank you. I, I wasn't sure, steamer. Haven't been there, so I don't know. Thank you for that info. Sharon Shaw, hi, Bruce. Just wanted to know if you are banned from a cruise ship for life, how do they do it? Uh, it how do they do that? Wish.com was advertising a hairdryer. Interesting. Um, Terrence, uh, I'm going to say that uh, what they'll do is they'll uh, they'll put your name and passport number right in the computer's where the booking department is, and they will do that. In the case of Royal Caribbean, they'll do that on Celebrity. Uh, they'll do that on their other ships. They'll do that on uh, – they own half interest in uh, Pullman Tour Cruising. 
Uh, they also now own uh, Silver Sea, so they'll do that in there. Uh, but I would love it if they were to share this information with all cruise lines, uh, then they would just ban this guy on any cruise. They just won't let him on. Uh, they don't need to take a chance that he'll pull off some other stupid stunt. Uh, you know what? This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, he should not be promoted. Cool jazz. Uh, Paul, look at some fool drove blindfolded doing bird box challenge. Uh, yeah, I believe that. Ba Mark Van Ram. Bruce, every time you lean forward, the lighting changes from reddish to yellowish. It's weird. Yes. Uh, see that? See if I lean? Yeah, you see that? It's weird. Uh, I have a lamp up here from like it's a big old powerful house lamp. And then my poor little old camera, which is in the computer right right there where my finger's pointing. It, it, it's a it's a low quality computer camera. What, what do you want? Although the you know, I, I kind of look at myself on my computer, it looks pretty clean, but yeah, the lighting is adjusting. Plus, what's happening outside here, I've got cloud cover and, and snow coming down now, and it's getting grayer and darker as the afternoon wears on, and the sun anyway is already heading for you know the end of the day here shortly, next little while. Uh, and so the interior lighting is going to take over more of the show from the outside. And so the camera's trying to figure out what, where's, what lighting should I wear. And so I'm sorry, I, I kind of lean in and I get all excited about what's going on here. Uh, let me just wait. What can I say? Uh, Glenn Edmore, a book cruise Singapore to Sydney, uh, paid 62 Australian a day for a drink package. How does this compare to prices in America? Well, it depends on the kind of drink package you have. But uh, 62 Australian dollars is about... Uh, let's say about uh, 48 American. Uh, there are drink packages in that 45 to $50 American range, but they don't, they don't include everything. So they'll have a, maybe a, a 10 or 12 or $15 limit for the value of any drinks you consume. So-called, you know, the value is like the shipboard price. So, you know, a rum and Coke at your local bar might be, uh, American two to five dollars, two to four dollars on a cruise ship. A Ryan Coke might run you six to twelve bucks, depending on the cruise line. Uh, so they may allow, uh, uh, you know, you're allowed to order a, a drink an hour all day long uh, for a Ryan Coke or a beer or a vodka and, and orange juice or whatever you're. But if you want to get a fancier drink, like a high end scotch, you might only be allowed. Uh, like I say, the first ten dollars of the price, and over that you'll pay the difference. So if it's a seventeen dollar shot of high end scotch, you'll get the first ten dollars off, but you still got to pay seven dollars on top of it plus tip. On the other hand, your drink package might not include all the uh, drinks. It might not include sodas. It might not it might not include uh, juices like fresh squeezed juice in the uh, in the buffet. It might not include specialty coffees in the coffee shop. So you might be limited to just, you know, but it, it, you know, it's up to you to decide whether it makes sense for you or not. You have to decide for yourself, right? That's just the way it is. I just saw a live chat just popped in. Teresa Jordan, bless you, dear. Thank you for your super chat donation to my channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, so, you know, to get back to you, Glenn, uh, you got to figure out for yourself if this makes sense. But in the USA, just to answer the final part of your thought, if you're thinking about this, how much is a drink package in the States? Uh, Norwegian. Uh, is charging $100 a day for their ultimate drink package. Anything on board that we serve as a beverage is included in this deal. $100 a day plus a 20% mandatory tip charge. $20 a day on top of that. And it's a minimum of two people per cabin must have it. So if it's a husband and wife, uh, each of you have to buy this thing. That's 240 American dollars a day. You want to turn that into Australian money? That's over 300 Australian dollars a day for the entire cruise. You can't buy it for one day. So you're talking 2,100 Aussie dollars or more for an ultimate drink package in the U.S. On, uh, on a Norwegian cruise. It's insanely priced. And yet people buy it. It just, it just blows my mind. I don't understand it. But hey, if you want to drink and you want to drink bad enough, I guess that's the way it goes. I say, hey, if you're on a seven-day cruise, a 10-day cruise, and you've got four or five stops between seven days and 10 days, seven 10-day cruises might have five, six, seven stops. You're off the ship for six or seven days on a 10-day cruise. You're not on the ship for six or seven hours of the daytime. Uh, drink on shore. Pay shore prices instead of ship prices. Don't buy the drink package. When you get back to the ship, drink moderately 
and just pay a la carte, uh, you might get off a lot lighter because cruise lines love it. They love it when you drink too much on the first day and you can hardly drink at all on the second day because you don't feel well. Too bad. You paid those prices every day on the cruise. They're getting their money. They love it when they don't have to give you booze that you've paid top dollar for. It is crazy. Now, when they give you a drink package for free in the USA, a $100 drink package for nothing, it isn't nothing. You're still paying the tips. So two people have to do it. That's 40 bucks a day in tips. American, 280 bucks for a one-week cruise, whether you drink or not. Even with a free drink package, they're still getting $280, which pays more than the cost of the package in the first place. It's, it's unbelievable. Anyway, I just mentioned it. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, uh, sorry, i got to catch up on the messages again. Here we go. Okay, Sherry, awesome sunset. Bring home... Bring some hangers as a ship never has that, that very many. Sherry, I would recommend you just bother the room steward for more. I'm sure he could round some up, maybe from an empty cabin, but you got a point, though. I agree with you there. Steve Bartley, uh, poopourri for a fresh toilet. There, poopourri. There's an interesting thought. Steamer, gadget, nothing from a sex shop. <laughs> Don't bring any of that stuff. We get checked before we go in. I I'd be blushing the whole cruise. <laughs> No comment. Um, electric surge, says Kirk Brunson. Watch out for the electric surge. <laughs> no comment. Uh, Paul Wilkes, cool jazz. I just, I saw that and and he wrecked his car real bad. Stupid uh, ass people. The guy that was blindfolding himself behind the car. What a moron. Uh, Ed, uh, uh, Glenn Edborough, uh, Edborough, magnetic hooks to hang swimmers in wet clothing. There you go. David C. Perkins. I think on the last one here, uh, I think I'm, think I think on the last one, on here almost missed it w welcome david perkins to the show um mark van ram uh, ibs multi-charging plug there you go vivian i am sure i read or saw something where today some cruise was planning a nude cruise this happens from time to time not very often it does happen from time to time that there is a nude cruise steamer gadget sonic screwdriver as seen on doctor who <laughs> <laughs> Kirk Brunson, flashlight, cool jazz. Yes, he did. Uh, Paul Willigas, Vivian Clark Nicholson, Carnival has one heading out next week. A uh, nude cruise. Dwayne, a uh, gadget. Hmm, how about a drone with a camera? Not a good idea. Is that allowed? No. Vivian, oh, Lordy, Lord. Uh, Paul, uh, Sylvan Forrest, my cigar wallet to hold a couple of stogies, my lighter and cigar punch. There you go. Uh, Tom Henry, the steaming bean. How about a Red Star Trek? shirt red star trek shirt to give uh, to noisy neighbors laugh <laughs> okay uh mike uh, michael cruise lover i just want to say hi leaving tomorrow in the, the am heading to the vista michael have a great time and please if you can post some photos on our uh, facebook group page traveling with bruce post photos of that ship and all the amenities and the fun you're having that would be fantastic. We'd love to see some photos of your trip. That would be great. Uh, Sylvan, drones are forbidden on cruise ships. The dollar, the blue collar cruiser, the blue collar cruiser still driving in Chicago. It's 35 degrees here. Love your show. Blue collar cruiser, love Chicago, uh, Chicago natives who are joining me. Anyone from Chicago, I own that town. I love that town. Welcome back to the show, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, Sherry Awesome Sunsets Travel says, uh, bring some hand sanitizer and some Lysol wipes with you. Wipe down your airplane armrests and your tray table. On the ship, you can wipe down all your bathroom and other things in your cabin just in case. Very good advice. That is a travel agent giving us a tip right there, folks. Heed that warning. Daryl, uh, Dwayne is saying, uh, so I Googled the drone question. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do it. Wendy, hi, everyone. Two nineteen a gallon for gas in the Ocala, Florida area. Wendy, welcome to the show. Dwayne, Carnival and Royal Caribbean are the only cruise lines that allow drones to be brought on board. And for Carnival, it is on, it's only camera drones that are permitted. Very interesting. Um, Steamer, I would love a Red Star Trek sweater not getting off this ship alive. Dwayne, uh, in both cases, the drone can only be used on land. Royal Caribbean further specifies that on land. Dwayne, the drones can only be used outside of the port area and not uh, on uh, all Royal Caribbean's private destinations of Coco Cay, Bahamas, or Labadee. You can't use it there either. Ocean Motion. Hey, Bruce, love ya. Cold and raining in Reno. How you doing, Ocean Motion? Welcome to the show, buddy. Welcome from Reno. And the steamer, I am a small YouTuber, but 
not really a small YouTuber, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm a small YouTuber, but I'm not a small YouTuber. I, I'm the same. I'm a kind of a small. I'm a, I'm a small YouTuber, but I'm not as small as Steamer. But Steamer is growing. Uh, check out his channel, by the way. Steamer makes great videos. Uh, but uh, yeah, Steamer and I are. Uh, we love them biscuits. We love them biscuits, if you know what I mean. Agnes, a high 30 degrees, feels like 24 degrees. Gas was 213 in New Jersey today. Agnes, welcome back to my show. Donnell is here from Ireland. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Uh, hi, Tom, Paul, Vivian. Happy Thursday to you all. i like to know how long I've been watching you live. No idea. Donnell, I think you joined in here about uh, four or five months ago. I think you came in here in the late summer, early fall, if I kind of got my timing right. And at the time, I probably had two or 3,000 subscribers when you joined me. Uh, and it's been a pleasure having you at least that long, I think. Uh, Sylvain, uh, we uh, are all so glad you got monetized again. Congrats on prevailing. Yes, that took four months to get re-monetized. It took a long time. Paul Lucas, hello, Donnell. Sherry, awesome sunsets. 42 degrees today, but low Saturday will be 11. And ice and snow coming to St. Louis. Not going to be fun in St. Louis. Unbelievable. As a steamer, poor Bruce has been stuck with me when he had less than 200 subs, the poor guy. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been crying ever since. <laughs> we love them biscuits. Uh, Donnell, hello again, Paul Lucas. Vivian, hi, Donnell. Dwayne, the drink packages, what are they? And are they worth it? Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't know if they're worth it. Uh, again, for me. I'm a non-drinker, so no. Uh, for my wife, Jennifer, no. She loves wine. She loves a beer. She loves a cocktail, but she won't drink enough to justify the costing. And for all seven days, including embarkation day and disembarkation day, uh, no, no, it's not worth it. No, it's just not. Buy it a la carte and uh, drink on shore. Yeah, uh, bring a couple bottles of wine on board if they allow you to. Most cruise lines do. Enjoy that in your cabin, on your balcony, whatever, and uh, try to keep it uh, moderate on board the ship. Uh, I wish you luck. Now, if you're in the casino and you're playing at the casino, uh, make sure the waitress comes by. You can get free drinks at the casino. Remember that. For, look, if you're going to spend 20 bucks, 40 bucks a day gambling in a slot machine, get two or three free drinks. Make sure you get a free drink before you run out of money so that you can take your drink with you when you walk out of the casino. You've got a drink with you that is also quasi-free. I mean, hey, uh, look, you lost 20 bucks in the slot machine. You only drank two drinks. They cost you 10 bucks each. If you, you lost $100 in the slot machines at over three hours or two hours or 15 minutes, how many can you drink? It's up to you. So there you go. There's an idea to get a free drink anyway from the casino or two or more. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see here. M Michael Cruz lover, nightlight, uh, steaming. Tony from La Lida Loca suggests cleaning our underwear in the jacuzzi. Good idea. <laughs> Not a good idea. No, don't do that. <laughs> Dump those underwear and buy fresh ones. <laughs> Vivian Clark Nicholson, uh, I'm like a mobile pharmacy. Uh, Donnell, uh, hello, Vivian. Kirk Brunson, eyeglass uh, fix kit. If you've got eyeglasses, Make sure you bring one of those little screwdrivers, you know, not a bad idea. A little fix kit, always a good idea, a little portable thing. Fatima McCoy, hi, Bruce. Hi there, Fatima. Sylvan, I have uh, I have been hunting this channel for a long time, too. I have been on this channel a long time, too. I think about a year now. Poor Bruce puts up with me, thankfully. Uh, Sylvan and I have been hanging out for a long time, and it's been a pleasure, absolute pleasure. Deb Gwimet, hi, all. 20 Fahrenheit, 241 for gas. Uh, don't forget your post-it notes. There you go. That's a good idea to take on a cruise. Tell me, folks, I'm asking, what are the interesting gadgets you should bring on a cruise? Tell my newbies out there. Tell my new viewers who've never gone on a cruise before what they should be bringing on a cruise that you just don't think of every day that can really make the cruise more enjoyable or can be really handy inside your cabin. Love to know. Uh, please let me know this. Uh, Wendy wipes to clean the bathroom door handles. Yep, and your cabin door handles and your cabin area every day or whatever. Uh, an idea. Sherry, awesome sunsets. Hi, Wendy. Uh, Fatima, air freshener, socks or slippers. <laughs> uh, Wendy, hi, Sherry. Uh, Sylvan, a shoe shine sponge from the dollar store because I hate grubby dress shoes. Uh, I don't do scruffy well. I agree with that. I, I think a man's shoes says everything about a man. The condition, 
of a man's shoes says everything about that personality. Uh, women, you got to know that. And ladies, uh, the shoe wear that women wear says everything about a woman. And uh, grab one of these uh, sponges to keep them nice and clean. Yeah, good idea. Old runners, not cool. Uh, dirty shoelaces, uncool. Oh, that uh, no, no. Uh, but that's just a personal opinion. Uh, footwear is everything. I uh, love Wayman's shoes. Love shoes in general. Uh, Dina Frank, duct tape for sliming cupboards and uh, taping the the uh, the gap in the curtain. Really good idea. Uh, really smart. You fold the curtain over, you know, and then during the night, it kind of gaps about a half an inch and the sun is shining. First thing in the morning, you know, your cabin, every time the sun is coming straight in your window in your cabin because you're chosen by you know who for the sunshine and you you, you just you just you're going nuts because the darn curtain won't stay closed duct tape yeah and for those closet doors that are clanging or cupboard doors or anything in the bathroom that's clanging oh a little inch of duct tape makes all the difference yes indeed it does very good idea uh let's see here um uh, uh, the steamer, I am booked on vacations to go because of Bruce. There you go. Wendy Thompson, American Cruise Lines, was advertising. Sylvia, hello from Greensboro. Uh, no ad, and it's 41 degrees with rain. Welcome, Sylvia. Stay cool out there. Stay warm. Stay safe. Steamer, you should sell TWB mesh bags on your site. Uh, how do I do that? If it's a mesh bag. How do I get a logo on there that makes a TWB? I have to have it made with a TWB logo inside the mesh. The cost of that can't be done. I don't think it can be done um, uh, in a cheap way. Donnell, did anyone mention a small document holder you can put around your neck? Nothing worse than having to search everywhere for important paperwork. That's a good idea. Another one is one of those pouches. Another one is one of those uh, pouches that fits around your belly under your shirt that the world doesn't see it. Uh, that's an idea. But uh, hopefully, if you're on a cruise, you don't need to carry paper paperwork with you. Uh, only when you go on a shore excursion and then just bring your passport and at least the credit card, but uh, tuck them away out of sight for sure. Paul Lucas, hello, Sylvia. Fatima, towel clips. They really help, towel clips. The kind of clips, you know those big, giant clothes clips? They're like oversized. They're like the size of your hand. Those are perfect to use on deck chairs when you're on the cruise ship on the pool deck or on the upper deck because sometimes it gets windy up there and your towel is always flopping. You get these big clips to put the towel on on the back where you're, you know, lying back on it and on by your legs. You get about six of those clips per chair and the towel stays on there the whole time. Very good idea. Uh, what else have we got here? Vivian, I get boating holiday ads and cheap hotels for your ads. Interesting, Vivian. Brittany, I just thought of something else. Bring a backpack that is also a towel, uh, that is also a towel if one can be found in a regular store. Uh, or bring a backpack and just put the ship towel on it and in it. And where you go. So, Tweety, hi, everybody. Hi, So, Tweety. Welcome. Fatima's giving Bruce thumbs ups. I got 45 thumbs ups today. Thank you, everybody. Keep them coming. That's awesome. Uh, Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia saying hi there, uh, Paul. Uh, Jordan Castellanos. Hey, Bruce. Cold and rainy here in Los Angeles. It is. has been raining in L.A. for days. Uh, apps. Uh, real estate app. Progressive. Oh, the, the ads. The ads. The ads. Real estate uh, ads. Uh, progressive. And Netflix in the past couple of days, gadget of choice, um, SIG Smart 45 watt, five port USB charger. Yeah, charge your computer, charge your iPhone, charge your iPad, charge your camera. Uh, you got it. Uh, you need those. That's a good idea. Steamer, I wear 4XL. What what uh, what you what use would I have for those packing tubes? <laughs> <laughs> Those packing cubes. I'm a 4XL. I mean, one shirt would fill the cube right there. Oh, man, Steamer, we love them biscuits. We love biscuits. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets. Hi, so Tweety. Debbie Manuel. Hi, Sylvia. Sherry, hi there, Sylvia. Deb, a large coffee cup. Bring along a big old travel mug for your coffee. Head down to the buffet. And when the young man comes along with a refill, just put that little old travel mug in front of him. And if you need to slip a $1 bill beside it, and he'll fill that baby up right to the top, including your travel companions. Now you got two full cups of coffee, and, and all the additives are right on the table, your sweetener and your creams, and you got yourself a big old travel mug of coffee to enjoy yourself with, all for a little old $1 bill to keep that guy coming back. And he'll fill both cups of coffee for that $1 bill. Don't worry about one eat. Pretty good deal there. Or, you know, take your cup that he filled up and then pour it into your, uh, your travel mug. 
and then your coffee's empty. You need another coffee. He fills up the mug, and then you pour it in. And five minutes, you know, there's another idea. I'm just saying, Jordan. Um, FYI, you can probably see what ads are playing before your videos by using a different web browser, incognito, private mode. Jordan, that's too much work. I'm too busy a guy to be doing all that kind of stuff. I'd rather have you tell me uh, because you're out there. Because the ads I'm going to get are for targeting me. I want to know the ads that are targeting you. I want to know by viewers what are they getting targeted for by these advertisers because I know what I like, but I don't know what you like of the advertiser. That's why I need to know that, Jordan. Vivian, my travel mug. So Tweety, hey, Sherry, awesome. Sylvan, someone I know well, packs a couple of rum runners filled with Bacardi holy water. How about that? Uh, Sylvia gadgets and wipes whips and chains laughing out loud. How about that? Whips and chains. Keep the husband in line uh, all the time, not just, you know, then, but all the time. I don't know, Sylvia. I am, I'm afraid now. Fatima uh, cards. My sister bought her Jenga game. It was so much fun. She met two older ladies and taught them how to play it. Playing cards. Now, if you don't, if you if you don't bring playing cards, don't worry about it. You can go down to the casino, and they'll probably give you a, a deck of playing cards as a gift from the casino. And if you go to the services desk uh, for the for the uh, hotel for the uh, ship, uh, they'll probably give you a deck of playing cards there, uh, or just ask your room steward. They might be able to round up a deck of playing cards if you if you forget. Sylvia, hi there, Tweety. Uh, Wendy Thompson, 57 in Ocala. Uh, so, Tweety, hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Vivian, laughing out loud. Sylvia, Paul Wilgus, laughing out loud. Those whips and chains, look out. Uh, Sherry Awesome, hello there, Sylvia saying. Dwayne, Mazatlan is great. Dwayne, love that place. So, Tweety, Tom and Paul, your cruise is, your cruise is coming up quick. Are you all set to go? Uh, Dwayne, uh, Senior Frogs, yeah, baby. Colin uh, Eng Englert, uh, correction, I was on the Oasis of the Seas, two cruises before the outbreak happened. And a teen died on the Oasis of the Seas after falling off the ship and breaking his fall on the pier. It's just terrible. Uh, Colin, it's just it's just unbelievable what, uh, what uh, you know, this happens too often, I'm afraid. Uh, people just do not appreciate the seriousness of <laughs> gravity. <laughs> gravity can kill, uh, especially at speed. Uh, Steve Berg. Hi, Bruce and everyone. A little chilly. 21 uh, with uh, feel like temperatures at 5. Eww. No commercial gas is a buck ninety eight a gallon. Steve, welcome back. Uh, Steve, where are you? Tell me where are you located. Uh, uh, Colin, welcome back to the show again. Great, great to have you, by the way. Uh, Paul Wilga, so Tweety, I'm ready and so looking forward to my trip. Uh, Deb, be sure to put your phone on airplane mode to avoid charges. Better yet, when you get on that cruise ship, shut it off. Shut off your phone. Only use it when you're on shore. Um, and make sure it's at least in airplane mode, but shut that thing off. Put it in the safe. Put it away if you can. Uh, Sylvia Tweedy doing great. 365 days with Cruising with Wheels group cruise. Very good. A year from now, so Tweedy is saying, yee hoo Woo-hoo, Sylvia. She's saying, Teresa Jordan, yellow sticky notepad. There's a good idea. Colin, how do I how do, I do trivia? Colin, tonight, trivia, 8 o'clock. I'm on tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time in uh one hour, 57 minutes. I'm on tonight for trivia. Come on back to this channel and you'll be on the trivia show. You can watch how we do it. We'll have a great time tonight. So, Tweety, I am premiering part one of my Majesty of the Seas vlog after Bruce is finished here. Fantastic, So, Tweety. That's awesome. Uh, I just did load a video before I went on the air, about 20 minutes before I went on the air. Seven tips for cruisers. Check it out if you get a chance. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends for me. That would be fantastic. But Dima, something for the stewardess. I went to the dollar store, and along with my small tip, I added a box of candy every other day. He really appreciated both. So something for your room steward. A little box of candy every day. A Rob Souter mini sewing kit. Take one of those. Deb Guimet, today is my birthday. I'm now officially a senior citizen celebrating on the escape in February. Deb, happy 30th birthday. Welcome to the rest of us. You're now a senior. After 30, you're a senior because if you listen to the Beatles in the 60s, once you hit 30, you were old. Welcome to the next generation. Uh, <laughs> this is great. Fantastic. Uh, so, Tweety, great idea, Fatima. Uh, Frank DeMarco, uh, hello. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Where are you watching me from? Fatima, of course, I also left my group my, my group tip that I prepaid, but I... I really wanted to leave something personal just for him. Right on. Well done. Vivian, happy birthday. Enjoy. So, Tweety, happy birthday, Deb. Paul Lucas, Deb, happy birthday. Dwayne, Deb, 
Happy birthday. Uh, Deb, uh, how come the older I get, the older old gets? That's right. That, that's right. Rob Bruce, do you know who Omar is? No. Uh, so Tootie laughing out loud. Uh, Brittany, I do not know if I'll be in for tribute tonight. Teresa, there is Teresa's uh, donation. Thank you, Teresa, for your super chat donation. Uh, you are wonderful. That's not the first time you've done that. Deb, thank you. Vivian, Clark Nicholson, so Tootie, Paul Lucas. Uh, Dwayne, okay, Bruce. How is the PayPal support done? Well, okay, what you do is you go to my homepage or you go to my about page uh, or even in the description below, there might be a link. There's a link to a PayPal donate button for my channel. On my homepage for my channel, there are icons either up here, little tiny dots. There's about five of them, either, either here or here. One of them is a PayPal donate button. If you touch that, you can make a donation to my channel and in any amount you wish. And um, it's easy to follow the instructions and, and uh, go from there. That's, that's about all I'll tell you. That is how you do it. And thank you for asking. I appreciate that. So Tweety, $100 a day, Norwegian bothers me with their ridiculous regular prices when they give away the drink package 80% of the time. So Tweety, you're right. They advertise the ultimate drink package as 100 bucks a day plus a $20 mandatory tip. Mandatory that two people per cabin, you, cabin use it. 240 bucks a cabin per day. But 80% of the time, they give it away as a promotion. And I would not take a, Royal, a Norwegian cruise uh, without if I'm a, I, if I were to drink uh, alcohol, if I enjoy a drink or two or three, I wouldn't go on the cruise without the package being given to me because that's what I want now from Norwegian. That's what they're doing most of the time. But the problem is, even so, you still have to pay the $20 tip per person per day. So it's 40 bucks a day per cabin times seven days, 280 bucks. Now, if it's the ultimate drink package and you can get it for 280 bucks for two people for the full week, I'd buy it. I'd take that free deal. I'd take it. If I were drinking casually, uh, because even three drinks a day, that's 20 bucks. A specialty coffee, a fresh squeezed orange juice, a couple of sodas. Two beer, two glasses of wine, a rum and coke, more than 20 bucks a day on the ship. So then it's worth it. All right. That's what I would say there. So, Judy, you make a good point. Valerie Jones, I just purchased a multi converter for my next cruise. Right on, Valerie Jones. Well done. You can buy a multi converter if you want anywhere on Amazon, of course, anywhere you want. But if you buy one on my Amazon homepage, I have an Amazon store with the multi-converter advertised in that store, if you buy it through my Amazon store, I get a commission from the purchase and I would appreciate it. Those are pretty handy units, Valerie, for sure. Steamer, the ultimate drink package does not include all drink. Uh, so Tweety, NCL doesn't even include coffee or water. Oh my God. Melody, a shopping right now at Walmart and watching Laugh Out Loud. Thank you, Melody, and welcome to the show. Glenn Edinburgh, they call it the deluxe package here near all the spirits, beer, soda, bottle, water, under $15. That's a good deal, Glenn. That's not a bad offer uh, at that price. Marjorie, uh, Melody, that takes skills. Uh, Marjorie, that takes skills. Marge is saying, Melody, that takes skills. Dwayne, uh, that is excellent. Uh, that is excellent tech to bring on a cruise. A multi-converter. Good one, Valerie. Colin, uh, correction. I was on the Oasis of the Seas two cruises before the outbreak. Also, a teen on the Oasis died after falling off the ship and hitting the pier. Yeah, it's a sad story. <clears throat> Colin, it was just terrible. Uh, Deb, uh, so Tweety doesn't include coffee. Crazy. Uh, so Tweety, uh, no, Deb, they charge extra for espresso drinks. Frank DeMarco, soda package is good. We drink six to eight a day. There you go. Edward Kane, our first cruise was on Disney Magic out of New York, eight adults, no kids, uh, five days to Canada, but our bar bill was our bar bill was two thousand two hundred dollars, where someone would have warned us. <laughs> Yikes! Yes, the bar bill can be much more than the cruise. Uh, that is insane. Um, so Tweety is saying. Uh, uh, <laughs> so Tweety is saying, "Ooh, I would not want to sit on any of the public area chairs out following a nude cruise." Uh, Debbie Manuel, oh yeah, Teresa Jordan. So, Tweety, great advice, Sherry. Awesome sunsets. Um, Frank DeMarco, uh, bring Glad Wrap to cover everything in the room. Laugh out loud. <laughs> I'm saying if you're cruising with Sherry, if you're if you're cruising with so uh, sorry, if you're sorry, if you're cruising with if you're cruising with Sylvia, okay, from Greensboro, North Carolina. If you're going to go on a cruise with Sylvia and she's bringing the whips and the chains, I'd recommend bringing padding. Uh, that's just. Personal advice in case you're with her. I'm just, you know, just saying. 
Uh, could get nasty. Uh, Nurse Nancy, hello. It's cloudy. I'm 30 degrees in Wisconsin. Gas prices are from $199 to $206 a gallon. That's still pretty good by me. Uh, no commercials today before TWB. Welcome, Nurse Nancy, to my show. I'm glad you made it. Sherry, awesome. Uh, thank you, So Twitty. I'm sure you agree. So Twitty, hey, Nurse Nancy. Sherry, uh, hey there, Nurse Nancy. Ed Tolson is saying hello, So Tweety. Uh, so Tweety, yes, I agree, Sherry. I always wipe the tray table, the buckle, light, and air vents on the airplanes, then offer a wet wipe to my neighbor as a courtesy. Smart move. Get your neighbor to wipe down, too. That's a darn good idea. So Tweety, hey, uh, hey, oh, hey Ed Tolson, how you doing? Frank DeMarco, gas, $1.99 in Ocala, uh, Florida. Good price. For Nurse Nancy, that's a good idea. So Tweety, good to be careful when traveling. Hello, Sherry. Awesome sunsets. Brittany Lockwood. I thought of another device to bring on a cruise, a tablet or an ebook reader of some sort as to not take up space by packing some books. Exactly. Deb Gwimet, hi, Nurse Nancy. Nurse Nancy, hey there, Deb. N Tom Henry, having some issues with Chrome, need to be rebooting. I'll be back shortly. Right on, Tom. Sherry Awesomes, I did that, laugh out loud. The lady sitting next to me said, oh, I wish I had brought some of those wipes. So I fixed her up, laugh out loud, get her to wipe down her area of the plane. Good plan. That's really smart thinking. Uh, Brittany, I would just make sure the tablet is on airplane mode. If it has cell service, would not be a problem for me as my tablet is Wi-Fi only. Good good advice. So Tweety is crying. Donnell, uh, see you back soon, Tom. How far will we be driving tomorrow? Uh, Dwayne, underwear safe. Uh, underwear safe. Your money go commando. Yes. <laughs> Save your money. Go commando. Oh, man. Dwayne, oh my uh, nurse Nancy, I do like a passport holder to hang on from to hang from my neck. Since those cruise documents need to be handy, and my hands are taken with toting luggage, especially on embarkation day. Good plan there, Barb. Hi, Bruce, and everyone. Sorry, I am late. The commercials are often NASA uh, Jones. Uh, what's that? Sausage and a movie ad for the upside, and local ad for meeting space. Very interesting, Barb. Interesting commercials. Uh, Brittany, a sewing kit. You never know when you're going to need it. That's right, Sylvia. So Bruce is a fashionista for shoes. Laugh out loud. Shoes say everything. Shoes say it all. Uh, Margie, Bruce can get that passport card instead of a regular passport just for a cruise to Cozumel. Yes, but if you get left behind in Cozumel, you injure yourself in Cozumel. You're in a hospital in Mexico. Now you're trying to get home. You got to get a passport, baby. If you want to get out of there, you're going to need a passport. Get your passport. Deb Goodman, cruise insurance. That's right. Barb, does anyone know if there is a, uh, to, what is there to do in Seattle before the cruise? Oh, man. Barb, Seattle is perfect to spend a couple of days before and or after a cruise. Uh, there's tons to do. Go to the, um, the museum, the music experiment. That's a full day right there. That was founded by Paul Allen. It's incredible. History of music. You're going to see stuff there you cannot believe. It's fantastic. Uh, they've got all kinds of places. Head for the market downtown. Uh, head for a Starbucks or two. Uh, head for the Space Needle. There's the Flight Museum that you can check out uh, just near SeaTac. And in Everett, go to the Boeing plant. You can get a tour of the Boeing factory. Unbelievable uh, to see that in real life. It is stunning. Very cool, Barb. You got to check it out. Nurse Nancy Sewing Kid is a handy idea. Vivian, oh, well, 11 p.m. See you all tomorrow. Great show, Bruce. Thanks, Vivian. Have a good night. Paul Wilgus, night, Vivian. Barb, so tweety. Love your videos. Nina, um, folding bag for the bathroom doors holds a lot of stuff. Deb Gourmet Cash, plenty of one and five dollar bills for tipping. Bring that. Brittany, bring some multi plug USB charging brick. Should have at least two, can charge multiple USB type of charging devices like phones and tablets. Margaret Abdi. Um, uh, very cold tonight in London. Expected one below. Margaret, one below Celsius. Stay dry, stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for joining me from London. Sherry, awesome. Yes, Barb. So Tweety's videos are awesome. Nurse Nancy, family is beckoning. I will watch the replay. Bye, all. Thank you, Nurse Nancy. So Tweety, Barb, I'm glad to hear it. When you are in Seattle, you can go on the Ferris wheel or do wings over Washington or watch uh, or just walk Pike Place Market. We are really accommodating city for cruisers. It's true. So, Tweety, you were right. Thanks, Sherry. Awesome sunset, says So, Tweety. Valerie, uh, belly pack for port days. Best way to keep your documents safe. Belly pack under the shirt. Yes, indeed. Tom Henry, <clears throat> just staying at the, uh, just staying in the hotel, So, Tweety. Stayed uh, at would-be uh, great memory. 
That was wonderful. Uh, Brittany, I might start packing for Disney World in about a week. Barb, thanks so too. I'm excited to finally go to Seattle as well as the cruise. Brittany, bring some traveling with Bruce stuff like tote bags and clothing. Bring Bruce stuff. That's right. Bring TWB stuff on your cruise. Wear TWB t-shirts on board. Show everybody you're a loyal follower of TWB. Use a tote bag with TWB on it. For those extra items, good idea, Brittany. I so truly, I love looking for great hotels, Tom Henry. Paul Wilkins, another good thing to bring is a small bottle of Downy Wrinkle Release. Interesting, Tom Henry. We are staying at a Ritz Carlton by the Pentagon in early February for a Park West event. Expect good things from that hotel, I would say. Sylvan Forest, the uh, Altoids, Brett Mitts, good plan. Tom Henry, uh, Paul Wilkins, I don't care if I'm wrinkled, laugh out loud. Brittany, bring some highlighters. Interesting, bring some highlights to highlight your daily sheets of what to do today so tweety awesome at uh, tom henry what artists are going to your event i love how park west puts you up at such great hotels donnell happy birthday deb guimet hope you're having a great day tom henry i need a pc notebook mm, power cables mice printer paper Whew, maybe some clothes yes tom you do tom uh, paul wilgus uh, tom henry they don't make big enough bottles for you but your clothes they do laugh out loud tom henry the one we're lo looking forward to is wyland don't remember the other two, but uh, but one had a great uh, tiger painting. Hmm. Tom uh, Henry, suntan lotion. I have some uh, SPF 100 spray that I use. Le Le Nina, look in the uh, uh, in the Bible in the nightstand. Some people leave excursion tickets, boat credit in there. You never know. Rob Souter, Omar is a tent maker. That's why I buy my clothes there. <laughs> for the biscuit boys, I guess. Uh, Tom Henry, Rob Sutter wears tents. Uh, Deb, thank you, uh, Dwayne. Tom Henry, do we, do we have a new addition to the biscuit boys? Uh, Tom was wondering. So Tweety, whips and chains, laugh out loud. What? Did I miss a revelation about Sylvia? Sylvia says to bring whips and chains, and I'm just saying, if you're going to go with Sylvia, wear padding. Uh, Paul Wilgus, so Tweety, you never know about these uh, North Carolinians. Uh, so Tweety is laughing out loud. Uh, Deb Gourmet, some of these islands are like third, uh, like third world countries. We buy antibiotic, we bring and ban and buy bandages, personal products, glasses, etc. At the dollar store, exactly. Grab the Dollar Tree to donate to a chosen island on each cruise. Leave them with the church, etc. We do that. Deb, on some islands, the money received for porting goes to the government, not to the citizens. Deb, uh, gum, if you chew it, a product they do not sell on ships. Uh, they don't like selling gum because used gum ends up in very inconvenient places as far as cruise ships are concerned, and they don't like to clean that up. Can't blame them for that. Guys, you've given me and all of us here some pretty good advice today on some of the gadgets you should be bringing when you take a cruise those of you who are watching on a rerun, I hope you're enjoying this. And if you've got any ideas for gadgets, leave those comments below in the comments section below this video for anyone else to be able to catch uh, going forward. Love these really good tips for unique items to bring on a cruise that maybe people don't normally think about. Now, in one hour and 43 minutes, I am back on the air tonight for Thursday night live trivia. I'm ready to go. I've got the questions all lined up, and I'm looking forward to having you folks come in, and we'll see how you do on them. We should have fun with that. I want to thank all of you for joining me today. I want to thank you for 49 thumbs ups today. 49 thumbs ups today on this channel. This is a fantastic number for this show. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you for commenting on my shows. Thank you for sharing my videos uh, that I publish. Thank you for giving me thumbs ups on my other videos. And those of you who are watching on replay, thank you for thumbs ups. I really appreciate it. It helps the analytics promote this channel. It's just incredible the difference it makes. It is fantastic. Uh, the other day, I think a couple days ago, I set a record for the most thumbs ups in one day ever on this channel. It really adds up to uh, extra promotion by YouTube. I love it. I just saw number 50 come through for a thumbs up. Thank you for number 50. You got to love that. Uh, Rob Souter, Tom Henry, in my neck of the woods, when we see an extremely large person, we say they must buy their clothes from Omar, the tent maker. <laughs> right on. I used to use the expression Calgary tent and awning back in Calgary because same thing. Uh, Nina Frank, she's saying, I see 51. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I see 52. Uh, Tom Henry, hi. Bye, everyone. Uh, I'm feeling a bit achy. I've been up too long today. Time for a nap. Uh, Paul Wilgus, he says he says he sees 53. Uh, even better, Paul. That is fabulous. 53 thumbs up. There it is. It just popped in there. Uh, fantastic, you guys. 
53 thumbs up. So you got to love it. Now, join me tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern for live trivia. We'll have some fun doing that. And then tomorrow, Friday, I'm on at 5 o'clock as usual. We'll follow what's going on. Check out my new video that I loaded up about a half an hour before I went on this show. Seven tips uh, that you should, uh, seven things you should know before you book your cruise. Uh, please check it out. I hope you like that video. Share it, like it, uh, and comment on it if you like. That would be fantastic. Uh, so Tui is just starting a premiere, Majesty of the Seas. She started her premiere right now. So check that out with her as well. Lots to do tonight. Lots to see on YouTube from all of our friends here at the TWB family. Thanks for joining me again today. And uh, I want to wish you uh, a great day. Stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy. Uh, today, January the 17th, 2019. That's the show for Traveling with Bruce today. I'll catch you at 8 o'clock tonight for live trivia. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Everyone, you guys take care. Talk to you later. Bye for now.